what makes up an RFID tag? It starts at the chip level. You've actually got some silicon in there, and that's where your memory is. That chip is attached to an antenna in one way or another. The antenna is the communication part of the tag, how it talks to a reader. Chip plus antenna equals an inlay. Now, if you take an inlay and you insert it into a label or a hang tag, you've got an RFID tag, and that's what makes a tag. There's really three different memory banks that are there. The first is the EPC memory bank. Uh, and that's really the license plate number that's used in business-to-business -business transactions. So if a supplier is sending something to a customer, they'll use that EPC memory bank to identify that item. The second is the user memory. Uh, and this is wide open for the user to put whatever information they want. It could be uh, a lot number, a manufacturer code, or perhaps the date this item was last serviced. Uh, it's just there for any additional information you want to carry on the tag. And the final one is the tag identifier, or the TID. And this is a non-writable memory bank that's put on by the chip manufacturer that uniquely identifies that particular chip, irrespective of what might be written in the other memory banks. So EPC memory bank, user memory bank, and the TID, or the three you get with UHF Gen 2. There's a fully functional RFID reader embedded in that printer. Uh, and at the time of printing a label, three things happen. Uh, first, the printer is going to read the tag to make sure it's present. Second, it's going to write data into the tag that it's instructed to. And third, it's going to read it again to confirm that that write was successful. Uh, if any one of those three happens to fail, the printer will actually print void all over that label and try again on the next one. So you've got a built-in error control, and you know that any time a Zebra printer produces an RFID tag, you were successfully encoding that tag. Typical applications for RFID all center really around track and trace. So I'm uniquely identifying a product, and then I'm following it as it moves so I can make better business decisions. Uh, we've seen benefits in retail for inventory control, lack of sh loss of shrink, etc., but also in healthcare for tracking specimens or, or high dollar equipment, uh, transportation for, uh, for making sure shipments are correct. Uh, uh, data centers for making sure servers are out there. So really there are any number of applications where I want to be able to uniquely identify an item, uh, but I don't want the labor required to do that with barcode. Uh, RFID is really great for those types of applications. The Zebra family of RFID products has the greatest breadth in the industry. Uh, there are seven product families out there from high heavy industrial uh, high volume printer encoders, uh, down to desktop products, down to mobile products, the only mobile printer encoder that's on the market, uh, all the way to card products that are making UHF cards for personnel identification. Uh, so what we want to do is have the right product for your application and not try to force a product on you that doesn't fit your applications. So going with Zebra, you're going to get what you need so that you can get all the benefits of RFID as seamlessly as you need them. Mm -hmm.